What I want to do is show you about a pistol that belonged to my grandfather. It's an Ivor Johnson. It's the American Bulldog Revolver in the 44 caliber Bulldog. So let's take a closer look at this. So what I have today is the American Bulldog. It was a trade name used on revolvers made by Ivor Johnson and Cycle Works, Hopkins and Allen's Arms Company by Harrington Richards Arms Company. Other brand names were Lion, Old Hickory, Navy Favorite, and Ajax Army. This from my research is made by Ivers Johnson. It is a nickel plated double action revolver. It is a black powder cartridge in the 44 Bulldog caliber. It has the American Bulldog stamped on the top strap and I have a serial number on the left side underneath the frame underneath the grips. And down across here is where my serial number would be underneath on the frame under the grips. And these will be the original grips that were on there. And I have a little chip out of this one right there. The original grips were made of a material called Gutta Percha, G-U-T-T-A. P-E-R-C-H-A, and basically it means hard rubber. There were four frame sizes. The small was a two, 22 rim fire. The medium was a 32 rim fire and the 32 center fire. The large was a 38 rim fire and a 38 center fire. The extra large was a 44 Bulldog and the 44 Webley. From my research and understanding, the first series were made from 1882 to 1886, though another one states that they were made from 1878 to 1885. The first series had the barrel length and the shape on the small, medium, and large frames were two and a half inches and round. The extra large frame was seven, two and seven sixteenth in length and, and an octagon shaped barrel. They also came in a six inch barrel and was either the round or the octagon shaped barrel. The frame on those were a saw handle grip and with the strap on them. The second series, which what this one is, they had the octagon barrels. The small frame had a two and a quarter inch barrel. The medium frame had a two and a half inch barrel. The large and extra large had a two and seven sixteenths inch barrel and the frame had the rounded grip strap. And they came in the same calibers as the first series. The difference in the diameter for the 44 Bulldog and the 44 Webley, the Bulldog is 0.473 and the Webley was the 0.471. The information that I found, there is no specific serial numbers for per year, but each year that they started with one and going up to 100,000, and so basically over 8,000 were made in a month. And since mine is a four digit number, starting with the number seven, mine was probably made in January, near the end of that month. The bullet is a lead with the casing and it is like this. And on here, says Rem, Remington UMC, it's the 44 B-Dog for Bulldog. And I thought about shooting this to show you what it's like to shoot it and possibly the muzzle flash, but since this is the only casing and bullet that I have, I'm not gonna do that. So let's look at this a little bit closer. As I said, it's a double action. The cylinder free wheels. Does have the cock. Was loaded this way. Pull 
this out. Cylinder drops free. So this is a pistol that my grandfather had purchased and owned and is now in my possession, given to me by my father. Looking at the grips a little bit more closer. So as you can see here, I don't have a lot of play, just a little, whether that's different than normal. And this one though is a second series revolver from Ivers Johnson. And those were made from 1887 to 1899. Another source says from 1886 to 1897. So I'm glad that I have this revolver uh, that my grandfather had purchased and used, uh, given to my dad and then my dad to me. Thank you for watching.